So when this tab gets pulled up, the ball, which has a pretty large amount of potential energy, starts falling down the ramp. When it falls down the ramp, it will hit the top of this book about right there. We want it to hit the top because it would have more torque going through than if it would hit, say, in the middle. So it would transfer that energy into this book, which would transfer it into this book, into this book, and so on. Step four. If the last book falls due to the domino effect, tension is placed on the string. When tension is placed on the string, the cardboard is pulled out of the ramp. Step five. As the ball is released from the ramp, its energy is changed from potential to kinetic energy as it moves down the ramp, being kept on the ramp by centripetal force. Step six. As the ball flies off the ramp, it's being pulled into the box by gravity. Inside the box is a funnel, which directs the ball to step seven. Step seven involves a cockback mousetrap, which is set off by the ball, which pulls on a string. Once the mousetrap goes off, there will be enough tension in the string to pull out the swing arm on the rat trap. Step eight is when the tension in the spring turns from potential to kinetic energy. Step nine is the rat trap springs forward, carrying the big ping pong ball up with it. Once it reaches the top, there's a transfer of momentum from the rat trap to the ping pong ball. Step 10, the ping pong ball comes here, hits the bottle, and turns its potential energy into kinetic energy. Then pulls this down, which turns this ball's uh, potential energy into kinetic energy. Hits the books, has a domino effect. This book gets pulled down by gravity, and its potential energy turns into kinetic, and it's attached to that lid on the jar of mayonnaise and it uncaps the mayonnaise. What's that blue thing?